Scientists and researchers are shocked by the discovery of fossilized soft tissue, or even more incredibly, unfossilized soft tissue in creatures thought to have died millions of years ago. These findings don't fit the narrative most of us learned in school, that is, a creature is slowly buried by sediments, gradually becoming fossilized. Instead, such fossils point to rapid catastrophic burial, and the new find points yet again to catastrophic burial. Fossilization is a catastrophic process, as something has to be buried quickly. Researchers uncover the fossils of tiny bug-like creatures that are buried in so-called Cambrian rock layers. This arthropod, it is in the same phylum as insects, spiders and crustaceans, had an exoskeleton, which is often found fossilized because it's a hard part. But researchers also discovered something surprising, what I think to be beautifully preserved symmetrical brain tissue. Previous to this, researchers believed brain tissue couldn't fossilize, since it's so soft and decays too quickly. But these two new specimens join the third specimen discovered earlier and seem to demonstrate this scientific assumption to be wrong. Secular geologists start with another assumption that most of today's rock layers and fossils are the result of slow and gradual processes over millions of years. Therefore, it's very surprising for them to find soft tissue fossilized or otherwise in these creatures. But in a biblical worldview, this find is very exciting and not surprising at all. We know these creatures were buried during the global flood of Noah's day just a few thousand years ago. It was a catastrophe that would have buried billions of creatures rather quickly. That explains why we find so many fossils all over the world. Many of them are beautifully preserved even with soft parts still intact. When we start with the history of God's word, what we discover in the world makes sense. This is yet another discovery that secular geologists cannot account for, but fits perfectly with the biblical narrative of a worldwide flood that happened about 4,000 years ago, as described in the Bible. Thanks for watching everyone, and may you all have a blessed day.